Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel, Plots with the Twist, where we discuss books, amongst other things. And today, we thought we'd just get into something short and sweet. Mm -hmm. We're about to get ready to go on vacation, and we're going to keep bragging about it until we go. And then when we come back, we're going to keep bragging about it right. because we haven't been on vacation in a while. And we deserve it. Right. So just a little something to keep you going. We're going to talk about um, three books that one out of 10 would not recommend. Mm -hmm. Now, these are books that you might want to read, might be tempted to read, have seen everywhere. So it's not like we hated these books. Mm -hmm. These aren't like the books we rated the lowest, but it, these are just books we don't think really yeah. should get the praise or the attention. Just that we didn't like. Yeah, we didn't like. <laughs> we didn't so like them. let's get into it. Okay, so you want to start? I mean, I'll start with a controversial pick. Um, I feel like all mine are, no, nah, I don't think so. So, I didn't like, which y'all know on this channel I've talked about, I didn't like Wahala by Nikki May for several reasons. One, mostly, I felt like a lot of the, the main characters were not likable, and there was a lot of, like, um, just points of, like, textures and colors that I just didn't appreciate, which I know, like, were integral parts to, like, the characters, like, their stories and stuff but i just didn't like it i didn't appreciate it and maybe i'm just not um what you call it i'm not even gonna say culture but i don't know i just it just turned me off from the book if i'm being honest like yeah the whole thing it just turned me off i didn't really enjoy it and then like how it ended too like even besides those things how it ended and like one of the characters um not the main characters but one of the characters dying i was just like like what but yeah, didn't didn't really, and I think because I um was expecting to like it, it definitely like brought down. Like, dang, yeah. I really wanted to like this book, and I just did not at all. So, feel how you feel about it? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so, I have a couple of suspense I'm looking at. Um, so suspense books are kind of tricky. You know, because mm -hmm. sometimes you figure it out, sometimes you don't. And sometimes it's like, what? So if I feel like the two suspense books I have are just the author's attempt to like, ooh, let me make you think. And so the first one I have was um, Reckless Girls. I think I mentioned that before by Rachel Hawkins. So it's just, it was presented as this, oh, deserted island. This These people go to this deserted remote location and the elements and the island plays tricks on them and drives them to madness. Like, I feel like that's what how it was presented. At least that's what I was expecting. And then, um, but the story is, it's basically these group of, this group of people who go to this island and um, just making dumb decisions. And even the, I wouldn't have mind that if it would have led to somewhere, but it just, it just wasn't an enjoyable read for me. Mm -hmm. And so I would not recommend it to anybody. I think I've seen it everywhere and it's like, Hey, read, read, read. And I'm like, no, nope, mm -hmm. don't do it. Don't do it. So that's reckless girls. Okay. So another one is, well, the next one is another one that I mentioned several times. Me and Kristen both hated, and that's the um, maidens by Alex Nicolides. Just, uh, just no, just no, 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 just immediately no. I just did not. I forget which one. This is the so one. So that's the, the one with the girl the at the school. Girls, yeah, yeah, and they were all obsessing over the professor. They were the <sighs> maidens because they love Greek mythology. I feel like yes. we read Silent Patient. No, zero, and tried to give him another chance, and it was just again. A straight like downhill descend like I don't know I think like he just tries too hard like it's too many like I don't even want to say for shock value but it's just too many twists and turns that just don't make sense in his stories so and like cause, like likes I love suspense I love a good thriller mystery but his just don't make sense and it's just not fun to read like it really upsets you so wouldn't recommend but y'all knew that already mm -hmm. All right, so the next book I mentioned, this one was a little bit better than Reckless Girls, but I still think it was just one of those that I was like underwhelmed. And I don't like a, I don't care for stories that pick on people, um, especially if it's not warranted. Like, I don't mind that, but it's like, make it make sense. Make it seem like if you're attacking someone, have a good reason. Um, and that's You Are Not Alone by uh, Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pickenin. So I read that a while ago and it was just, um, 
focusing on this girl who made friends. She struggled making friends and she got this group of friends and all of a sudden they kind of turned against her and was using her to kind of to play some type of game that they were trying to to play. And mm -hmm. I just didn't like that. It just didn't sit right with me. So I just wouldn't recommend anybody has that feeling, you know, maybe people enjoy that, but I just wouldn't tell you to read it. Cause I didn't, it's like, girl, leave this girl alone. She didn't have no friends and y'all came in here and did all this to her. And now she looks like the bad guy just cause y'all want to play around with her. Like, no, I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. What you got? Okay, so last book on my list is another book that we have both mentioned here. Because I don't read a lot of books I don't like, I feel like. <laughs> I don't think anyway. Mm -hmm. Some I just feel indifferent about, but there's not a lot on my list that I'm just like, hated it, hated it, hated it. But this one, I wouldn't even say I hated it, but just did not like it. And that's Lester by Raven Leilani. I had to look it up because I'm like, what was this book even? I just remember it was just like a lot of trauma and a lot of like self-sabotaging, like, but I know it's about this young lady who's like working at this job in her all white office and like she go I'm not gonna say she goes out of her way, but she starts um seeing this man who has like a family, right? Yeah, he's married. A white man that has like a family and, and it just adopted spins, black daughter. Yeah, adopted black and it just like spins out of control and all these things and I just wouldn't recommend it because one, I feel like it has a lot of triggering moments and um I just remember reading the book and feeling like why is she putting herself through this right um and you know some stuff is not for everybody to understand but i feel like if you're reading a book and that's supposed to like bring an awareness to certain things like there should be some type of reasoning or purpose behind it behind putting it in the book and i just didn't couldn't see that for this one and just overall did not enjoy it and would not recommend it because it was okay. just traumatic for no reason to me okay well, the last book I'll mention, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend any of her other books. I'm sorry. I just wouldn't. I just, it's my personal opinion, my personal preference. Don't judge me. Um, and that's Velvet Was the Night by Sylvia Marina Garcia. Hate her. I don't hate her. I just don't <laughs> enjoy her books. And so Velvet what the, Was the Night, don't ask me what it was about. It was communism, radicals, but... A missing girl and a love story like it was just too much going on and not mm -hmm. enough at all there was nothing that. really compelling about the story it took you a minute to even realize what was going on and even when you got to the point of the climax is like what all this for this it was it was like the build-up was a huge letdown um it just wasn't something I would want to put someone else through. So I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't. And like I said, it goes the same for any of her other books. The only one I would likely say, oh, it might be okay. is Mexican Gothic. That one was okay. But other than that, I have not had a good time with her. And I keep giving her <laughs> chances. And she has a lot of books too. All of them have fallen off of my TV. I'll say that. But... It's my opinion. I can have it, all right? All right. So, like I said, short, sweet, to the point. Just mm -hmm. wanted to come and give you a few books. We don't want y'all to waste y'all time reading. Because um, <laughs> I'm sure y'all... You right. You're entitled to and You might enjoy it. Right. Who are we? Who are we? It's just people. So, let us know some books you would not recommend, even though you've seen them everywhere. People mm -hmm. tell you to read it. You wouldn't recommend... Or... Yeah, not people tell you to read it because obviously you read it. But mm -hmm. basically, you wouldn't recommend it to anybody. You don't want to put anybody through that journey. Like this video. Subscribe. Ring the bell. And we'll be back next time. Bye. Bye.